Hey guys, welcome back. Gif here again today. NVIDIA's one-touch GPU overclocking feature has gone from beta to mainstream with the latest driver update. Let's go ahead and find out how to do that today in this episode. Let's get into it. Guys, just for a point of reference, this is what I did last night on my 2080 Super. This card is in my recording and editing machine. And I just turned the sliders on the voltage and the power up to maximum, made sure everything was set to auto, and hit enable. And 20 minutes or so later, I had a 64 megahertz overclock. So is it going to be that great on the 3090? I'm not sure. The Ampere cards have not had as much headroom for overclocking, but we'll find out now. Whether you call it GeForce Experience or Shadow Play, if you still have the stock key binds, it's going to be Alt-Z, and that's going to go ahead and launch the screen here. And we're going to go ahead and click on Performance. We'll go ahead and turn the sliders all the way up to max, just like we did with the 2080 Super. We'll click Apply. We'll leave everything on Automatic, and we'll hit Enable, and we'll see what we get here. Well, there we have it, guys, and honestly, better than expected, plus 61 megahertz on the automatic overclock. Now, I've not used this in any games. I've literally just had this happen, so I'll have to see how this works when I do some benchmarking on it and some games today or tomorrow, and I'll report back and let you know how it actually works under real-world situations. Hopefully, we haven't just opened a passage to Crashville, as I'm sure we've all been there with overclocking GPUs before, but we'll see how it goes. A couple of important housekeeping things to keep in mind. Obviously, you're not going to want to try to do this in-game. In fact, to get this to work at all, I had to close out almost everything. My audio controls from my GoXLR on this PC, so they're on and OBS is open. Other than that, almost everything else is closed out that's optional. I did have a few crashes trying this beforehand in previous videos this morning, and this is the first time I got out to work all the way. So is this stable? I, I don't know at this point. I've done zero benchmarking. I haven't opened a game. You know, that's one of those things. Hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll have another video that comes back and says, yeah, my 61 megahertz is stable. Maybe I can even add a little bit more to the memory speed. We'll have to see how that goes. Like a lot of you guys, I use MSI Afterburner. I have for years. I feel like it's the best overclocking utility out there for GPUs. And one of the interesting things I'm seeing here is these things don't exactly match, especially when you look at the power limit in Afterburner, we're at 100%, and the slider stayed at 104% inside of GeForce. And when you look at the core voltage, uh, the, the slider's on the far left in Afterburner, and it stayed at 100% in GeForce Experience. So I can't explain that. However, the core clock speed and the uh, memory are running apparently at the same speed right now. So hopefully they get along. That'd be terrific. It'd be nice if the two utilities could work in unison for once. I'm sure we've all had those experiences when we load something new onto the machine and an older piece of software and a newer piece of software just will not coexist together at all. Over the next couple of days, I'm going to go ahead and run some benchmarks and obviously do some gaming because that's one of the things I love to do. And I'll report back and let you know, you know, do I get more frames? Do the benchmarks come back higher? Is it stable? That's really what we're after to know here. And is it a usable overclock? So in the next couple of days, I'll let you know more about that. As always, if you have questions, drop them down in the comments below and I'll do the very best I can to answer them. Guys, if you made it this far, a like is always appreciated. It really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. And until next time, good hunting and GIF out.